Hey, it's Roger, my location in Mid Hill, at one of my favorite neighborhoods. This is a luxury neighborhood, but not just luxury. Look at this little center media, I think that's gorgeous. This is a luxury equestrian neighborhood, and I've got a uh, guy with an awful lot of experience in the car with me. We're going to look at some lots. Uh, Rod, you were a custom builder in Florida for many, many years. Um, what's your first impression of a house like that? Uh, center entrance colonial, uh, 12, 12 pitch roofs, um, you know, nicely sited on the lot, a uh, lot of woods, a lot of privacy off the back of this house, and uh, a lot of room between houses out here. Nice. Yeah, I love Cheval. And by the way, you and I came out to kind of take a peek at some available lots. This was from the uh, Homerama from 2013. <laughs> they built, I don't know, seven, eight houses. We had uh, homes from Arthur Ruttenberg, which is locally, it's Paragon. Ruttenberg is a franchise uh, and the local franchisee, uh, and we like them. But different builders, like for instance, I'm remembering being in this house. This was a Classica home. Man, I love Classica homes. And uh, next to that was, I believe Grandfather Homes is right there next to that. I love Grandfather. Shout out to Bill Saint from Classica, and shout out to Matt Ewers from grandfather i remember that back when i got back in the business but you're pretty new to town by the way this was evans coghill you're pretty new to town and you are advising people on building so your services could include like what walking lots advising on what plans could work and so on when they begin it all starts with a lot and the lot the dimensions will dictate how the lot how the house is going to sit on the lot with the side setbacks um, we're going to want to look at uh, what trees are on the lot because the, anything that's an eight inch in caliper or above that is hardwood is going to be noted on the survey and the arborist at the building department is going to be fairly protective of hardwoods so What's good? we're going to want to walk that uh, note those and then try to situation situate the house such that we can save as many trees as we can. I always love neighborhoods like this where unlike a lot of the uh, clear cutting that goes on in a production neighborhood you really have some flexibility to leave a few trees in the front yard. Um, this you know for people in this price point they're gonna want uh, both privacy and shade. So we got somebody's building down there there are a number of builders in here in fact we're gonna go into one of the sections here at Cheval. I love Cheval. Uh, what's the name of the equestrian center? It's called Jovi, Jolie Cheval, I believe it is. Jolie Cheval. Jolie Cheval. We might get by there, man, it's gorgeous. So here's a little neighborhood called the Enclave. There are a number of neighborhoods. They all are distinctive. In fact, back there by Jolie Cheval, the equestrian center, there are some lots that can accommodate your own horse barn, right? So that's money. Now, we just came back by a lot there's one of these that you you weren't thrilled about uh, because of the, uh, the the water pipes running through. Well, the way they've drained, uh, engineered the neighborhood uh, drainage, uh, the drainage uh, happens to run right through the middle of this this uh, lot. Yeah, I don't know but, where that. We may have already passed that. But here's the enclave. Right. Now there's a lot or two available here. One street with a cul-de-sac at the end, and there's some building going on here. Uh, some very familiar names. I mean, we'll come up on Arcadia. We'll come up on uh, Arthur Ruttenberg. But again, sold. Guys, when you see a sold sign, that should have you saying ding, 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 ding. All right, so here's 104. What's your, what's your sense of that lot right off? It's going to be a, uh, ideal for a basement home. Um, it has both pine trees and hardwoods on it. And uh, the, the sun on this lot is to the uh, east of the house, which is good. So you don't have uh, the western sun on the back of the house. And you've got a gorgeous house right across the street that's currently going up. Yeah, we'll pick that up here. This one sold. Uh, that was 104. By the way, guys, reference uh, Cheval, C-H-E-V-A-L. And, uh, ooh, I like the way that looks. Uh, and reference um, the Enclave. That was lot 104, I believe, right, Rod? Yes. Well, there's some building yeah. going on. Uh, that's what happens. Yeah, we've actually counted. But there's nine lots that we've that we've seen that are available. Yeah, and there are probably more that we just. This place is so big, and I love downtown Mint Hill. Um, it's just, I I knocked on doors for a while to see if somebody would sell me a house in a certain section. Then my wife changed her mind. So this is 101. What's your sense about this lot, Rod? Well, again, if you, over here to the right of the lot, you've got a. Uh, they've engineered 
um, water runoff to the right of the lot. So when we get in and start preparing this lot, we're going to have to take culvert and redirect that water so that it doesn't affect the, uh, the building pad of the house. And so that's, I call that site work. I'm not sure what you call it, but uh, that increases the price then. So it's it's not always just the price per square foot. It's this and that. There's a lot of fluidity there. Again, guys, take note. It says sold, but there's no house on it. What does that mean? That means this is picking up out here and people are paying attention. Uh, 99 is sold. Man, yeah. these are beautiful. It's all the whole cul-de-sac is sold. Yeah. And so now we're coming up on, this is Arthur Ruttenberg. You're very familiar with them. Uh, you've built a number of their plants when you were building custom homes down in Florida. Um, this is a good operation? Very good operation. Excellent. Uh, they're known for their wide open, spacious plans. Uh, they, pit, they pay particular attention to the ratios of, of the main space in the, in the house. Uh, as an example, uh, the square footage of the kitchen relative to the rest of the house. Uh, the square footage of the family room as it serves a five-bedroom house. So can you elaborate on that? In other words, they're looking at their designs, it's inherent that that's that way or they in change it to make it fit that way? Well, every home they design, they've got, they start with the core of the house, which is where the family comes together and meets, which is typically the kitchen, the family room area. Mm -hmm. And then they'll go out from there. Um, this particular house is, is a two-story home. This has going to have living area over the garage. Uh, that unique area over the entry of the house is going to be finished in copper. And oh, by the way, well, you can tell by that blue? Yes. Nice. Can't wait for the patina. I like the fact that on these dormers, they got that little flare. What do you call that? Uh, we just call them a flared roof. Not just a straight doghouse right. dormer. It's got a lot of style to it. Now, isn't it true that you go to somewhere, and we would like to represent you, by the way. You just need to give me a call. Do not call Arthur Ruttenberg Homes. Do not call the sales center here at Cheval. You want to call, get a buyer agent. Uh, we know what we're doing. We're experienced. And you want somebody like us to help you walk the lot. Look at all that space between the houses. Wow. Yeah. You want us to walk the lot with you. You want us to talk about plans. You want, just like Rod was mentioning about, uh, oh, that's Arcadia, man. Arcadia, that's a very well-known local builder uh, I've been in the owner's home in fact not trying to drop names because I can't remember his name but I was there for a social event uh, this is cool what, what, what's your sense of this plan uh, gorgeous house you're probably looking at probably close to over 6,500 square feet uh, side load garage um, wow a lot of style yep and sitting yep. on a big a big lot inside this which the enclave, the way they've got the front gate, it looks like they may end up uh, gating it as well. Now down in Florida, I think you said they don't put this kind of stuff on display, right? No. But it's got. I remember the first time I saw that. It's kind of interesting. Yep. The other thing this lot is going to have is it's going to have common area to the right of it, which okay. will be maintained by the HOA. So they got a lot of extra space, no house right. right there, but they're up to the front and common open space. Anybody in the neighborhood can walk through it. But hey, who's going to want to be walking through those woods, right? This place has got trails everywhere and parks everywhere. Cheval is just, it's the one to be. So we're just leaving right now. One of the neighborhoods called the Enclave. What you want to do is give me a call and ask about the availability of lots. Because honestly, uh, we came out today to look at a, a two particular lots on the MLS. And oh, by the way, having a relationship with a buyer agent that's in the know can be extremely helpful. Number one, we build relationships with the agents, however, we're seeing a bunch of lots. How many did you say you saw? We saw nine so far. Uh, there's one off to the right of us and yep. two off to the right of us here as well. And uh, there's one right there. What's, what's your take on that lot? Oh. Is that the one with the drainage? Uh, it's, it can be a very difficult lot to build on. Because? Uh, you see the creek down here below. And again, it's been engineered for runoff from this, this cul-de-sac. All the water is going to run down into this lot. So that could affect it and it may require some extra engineering and yes. finagling. So they'd, yep. they'd have to really want that lot for that to work. Now this next one looks like it's available too and it's sitting up a little higher. Is that one the, yep. the same or yep. not? The, and that lot is actually gonna drain down on the one we just looked at. <laughs> okay, well, you know, knowing this kind of stuff is really important when you're making these big decisions. This is, we're entering into Creekside at Cheval. Guys, I'm running a little bit long here. So what I wanna do is pick up on part two and uh, stay to the end of this video. And if we've 
been able to nail part two today. We're in January, beautiful day. You know, it's 40 degrees, a little bit of a cold wave for us. Average temperature here in Charlotte is uh, 30 or so, 31 in January. So that's lot 47, but what do you think of that one? Beautiful lot. You got uh, eastern exposure on the front of the house. Uh, a good number of mature hardwoods. Um, you got street lighting right out front, which is good. Now, typically, would they be able to keep uh, some of those trees in the front, like I mentioned earlier? Yeah, we would, uh, We again, would want to take the layout of the house, lay it down over top of the, uh, the lot, uh, and then go back in and tag the trees we want to keep. Right, so here's where the lot ends and the other one begins. And this one's also available. This one is lot 91, Cut, different sequence there. Yeah. How's this one look to you? This has got some huge majestic oaks right at the front, um, which are very nice. These are statement trees. Statement meaning what? Um, it just, it's, a, it's an older lot, um, mature oaks, and... Uh, Makes a statement. And, and it's gonna make a statement. And so so you're fairly new to Charlotte. Did you realize that Charlotte was designed by a landscape architect? In fact, when you drive through Myers Park, uh, your daughter's a top agent in town. She knows this. Uh, you drive through Myers Park and some of those huge oak trees, they had a real event planting those uh, in a season uh, and it's, and we're still enjoying them. So guys, hey, give me a call. If I've helped you today with, uh, with Rod, uh, Rod, hit that subscribe button. In the meantime, pick, couple it with a phone call. 704-345-3400. Imagine yourself living here. If you're a $2 million buyer, $3 million buyer, I'm sure we can help you. Can't wait to hear from you soon.